Developing now in Volusia County, deputies say a six-month-old died after being left in a middle school teacher's SUV for at least eight hours. Investigators say the teacher went to work at Deltona Middle School yesterday, and when she returned to her car, she discovered the boy. Channel 9's Julie Salamone is live at Deltona Middle School, and Julie, investigators haven't said if that teacher will face any charges. We are still waiting on deputies to tell us that information, but deputies told us yesterday the teacher backed into one of the parking spots over there and then grabbed all of her stuff inside the SUV and then headed to the front entrance of the middle school, but somehow forgot that baby in the back seat. A school resource deputy rushed to this SUV within minutes of the sheriff's office getting a frantic 911 call about a baby in a car seat left in the back of an SUV. But it was still too late. A six-month-old was found dead Friday afternoon inside the SUV at Deltona Middle. When our uh, deputy, school resource deputy responded out, out to the car, uh, it was pretty clear there was nothing that could be done to save the baby. We wish it was different. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office said a teacher arrived at school, backed into a parking spot near the school entrance, and didn't take the six-month-old with her. It's believed the boy was in the SUV in the sweltering heat for around eight hours. Investigators towed the SUV out of the school parking lot and have not given us the name of the teacher involved. It's unclear yet if she will face any charges. The sheriff's office said the boy wasn't her child. She was looking after him and forgot he was in the car. We haven't released the specific identities or relationships of anyone involved yet, but we will at some point. And we will let you know when deputies release the name of that teacher. We will also let you know if they release the 911 calls. We're told uh, we could get those in the next few days. Reporting live in Volusia County, Julie Salamone, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.